2K, former Cowboy Keyshawn Johnson. Please tell me this, sir. Is Mike McCarthy the right coach for the Cowboys? I think he is the right coach for the Cowboys. This is his first. Look, the, never mind last season. Get rid of last season because last season was crazy for everybody. You look at Dak Prescott gets hurt. Their entire team is depleted. They're messing around with, with uh, the, 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 uh, the heck, Andy Dalton, at quarterback. So let's get rid of that. This year, they win the division. They put themselves in a position to make a run. For whatever mishaps that there were going on, and I know Stephen A. doesn't want to hear that. I can look at his face and tell that. This guy knows what he's doing as a head coach. This is why they hired him. This is why they're retaining him. I know a lot of people look at that loss and they want to point the finger at Mike McCarthy. You can't point the finger at Mike McCarthy. He's a coach that's giving details. He's the one that put the game plan and signs off on it. The players are the ones that have to go out there on the field and execute. Okay, when you go for it with those 14 seconds to go, your quarterback that you paid $140 million to, he needs to know what he needs to do, which is get his butt down, hand the football back to the ref, get underneath and clock it. You cannot blame that on the head coach. And I know a lot of people are trying to find why Mike McCarthy should be out. They're, find, they're trying to find a reason. And I don't think it's right. Now, if you're asking me next year, if we're in the same situation and we're having this conversation, then yes, he should be fired. But this year, not a chance. He is the right choice for the Dallas Cowboys. There's no question at all. They are moving in the right direction. There's nothing wrong with the direction they're moving in. It was a lot of high hopes to get to the Super Bowl. It didn't happen. So now, you know what? Let's hope that we can keep our coordinators and run it back. You sound like Cedric the Entertainer. We have high hopes. Very high hopes. We're wishing for the best. You understand what I'm saying? Let me tell you Andy, something. Really what do you want me to you say? You really think let, they're going to keep their coordinators? Let, 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 me, let me be real with you about something, Keyshawn. I'm not, I want to be very clear. I'm not advocating that Mike McCarthy should be fired. I understood. I'm not. Here's what I would say to you rhetorically. If he's gone, would you miss him? See, that's really where I'm going with this. But we got go get let, though. Let, 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 let me get there. Let me get there, and I'm gonna give it because I'm gonna give it to you because I'm gonna defer to you on this. But I just want to express my thinking. We got Jerry Jones making decisions, right? And we got Stephen Jones on one side and Jerry Jones Jr. on the other. We saw them in the suite. You know what I'm saying? We saw them in the suite <laughs> Sunday a lot. Okay, so we know they did, right? We got Kellen Moore, the head coach wannabe. You understand, already interviewed by Jacksonville, supposedly a candidate in Minnesota and Chicago, calling trick plays and quarterback sneaks, you know, call, calling laterals in the middle of the game that don't work out, calling quarterback sneaks with 14 seconds left, trying to prove that he's worthy of being a head coach. Already got the number one offense in points and yards, but wanted to try and step it up instead of being a bit conventional and more efficient and productive, and it cost him. But we got him calling plays, right? We know that Dan Quinn has gotten all the credit for the defense, right? So my whole point is, what the hell does Mike McCarthy do? What exactly is it that you do? They call him plays, all right? You capitulate into what they call. I understand that you're in the room with the game plan, and they come to you to converse with you about the game plan and stuff like that. You might sign off on it, you know, before the game begins. And for all we know, Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones sit right there in the room with yeah, you stop, when they do man. that. When they stop. do that, we for all we know, I mean, that's we, I mean, hell, when you hired Jerry Jones, you spent the night at his house and stuff, eating Doritos and all of that other stuff. Y'all hanging out I together. Just making the, things the, up. I ain't making it up. That's what they said. I ain't making it up. That's, that's what they said. That's what they said. All of the, listen, yeah, he, why the he hell not, would I? He's, listen, he's, not, he's not making it up. That's right. Why the hell would I bring up Doritos with Big, I with big Mike I McCarthy? Never heard I'd bring Doritos up beef. I'd bring up steak and, and all of that. Why would I bring up sleep. Doritos? I heard about the sleepover that's party. What they, I didn't know Doritos. That's what they said. God. So my you only point in saying all of that is this. When you consider all of those things and things don't work out, and you got not one, but two, both Kellen Moore and Dan Quinn as head coaching candidates because of the jobs they've done on both sides of the ball. My point to you, Keyshawn, is would you miss Mike McCarthy? 
Because by all accounts, it appears everybody's doing the work but him. Yeah, Key, wait, before you jump in here, let me just say one thing, because where your argument I don't feel holds water is you're saying, oh, yeah, who would be better? I get that. And hopefully they'll get both their coordinators back. But we know that both of them have job interviews. We know that's yeah, probably job, not the reality. Job interview doesn't mean anything. They interview people every single year, and they don't get hired. Dan that's Quinn, you know will, Dan, Dan Quinn, Quinn is like the hottest Dan name right Quinn, now, Keyshawn. Dan Quinn will be interviewed by multiple teams, I'm well, sure, Keyshawn. as well as Kellen Moore. Doesn't mean they're going to get hired. Keyshawn, I will say this to you. Let's be, let's clarification before you go on further. You, that, that, that's actually applicable to black candidates. See, the, the white dudes, when they get interviewed, I mean, it's a good chance they might get the job. The brothers are the ones that don't get hired. Remember, it's 2022. There's one black head coach. When the Rooney Rule was instituted in 2003, there were three. We've actually taken a step backwards. Well, my hope, my hope to that, Stephen A., is that we're just now getting into the hiring cycle, and that will change over the next couple of weeks. That's my hope. Sure. I'm not in Mine the room, too. and I'm not the one doing Mine interviews. Too. But in terms of Dan Quinn and Kellen Moore, yeah. I one understand. One of them going to get a job. I don't think either one going to get a job, to be honest with you. But that's I think just one me. of them going to get a job. I don't think either one going to get a job. Because telltale signs tell me, if one of them is getting a job, guess what Jerry Jones getting ready to do? Keep he getting ready to write the check to keep them as a coordinator. But see, that's I he think does. he's going to write the check to keep them and let them be the next Jason Garrett. No, see, no. See, that's what no, I think going to happen. Not at all. Not at all. Not one bit. You think about personnel-wise, Will Clay, who actually is the mastermind behind putting the team together, he just got a major extension two weeks ago because his name was popping up as general manager candidates. And one of the things that Jerry said is, no, I'm not losing my top dog. So he writes the check. The same thing that Jason Garrett, the same thing he did with Kellen Moore several years ago when Kellen Moore was thinking about taking the Boise State job. He wrote the check. When you see him write the check, that's when they're going to get a job. Hey, but Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.